Hi, I'm Cricket Liu, Vice President of Architecture and Technology here at Infoblox. DNS servers have traditionally been nothing more than punching bags from a security standpoint. People use named servers and DDoS attacks against others because they're good at amplifying traffic. They're also subject to DDoS attacks. They're valuable targets because if you can successfully take out someone's external authoritative name servers, you can knock them off the internet. They're subject to cache poisoning attacks where someone can inject false information into your name server's cache and redirect your traffic. If you thought you were going to the Bank of America's website, you might go to a visually identical copy of it and accidentally enter your login name and password information. They can redirect electronic mail that you think you're sending to a customer or a business partner to somewhere else. Malware also uses DNS. It exploits DNS for a number of purposes. For example, malware counts on being able to look up the domain name of a command and control server to tell it what to do next. Malware can even tunnel new code using DNS because that channel, DNS, is rarely monitored. Now for the first time though, there's a way that DNS servers can help you fight back. There are new technologies, including something called response policy zones, that actually allow name servers to monitor for malicious traffic and take action. These technologies have been incorporated into Infoblox's new DNS firewall product. If you're interested in more information, visit www.infoblox.com slash DNS firewall.